Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to a Random Lifestyle Vlog. If you're new here, my name is Paulina and this channel is all about beauty. So we talk about skincare, makeup, fragrances, and we do some unboxings as well. So today, as you can see, we have another advent calendar to unbox, and this is the Flannels Beauty Cracker. So this is not an advent calendar per se, this is more like an alternative to an advent calendar offered by Flannels. They did have a really lovely advent calendar last year, this year they decided to do this Christmas cracker. So the difference obviously is that it doesn't have 24 or five days, it just has some products inside, and I don't even think there's going to be 24, I think it's like 17 or something. So as far as the details go, this advent calendar is priced at £170 and it's worth over £625. And in case you're interested, Flannels uh, has also released two uh, fragrance crackers as well. One is for her, one is for him and uh, they are priced at £50 each. I'm going to link everything in the description box below and now let's just focus on our beauty cracker. So in order to open this advent calendar, you kind of have to pull the edges like so and then you have to open uh, this box over here i can't really remove these so it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable to uh, unbox it so i'm just going to put it like that now we should be able to open it and okay the first thing that caught my attention let's just have it out of the way Agustina's bather and guess what this is another rich cream obviously we have 15 mils and uh, this cream is gorgeous but I don't even know how many bottles of this cream I already have Do you know what this is probably a last but one advent calendar I'm unboxing this year I'm waiting for one more uh and that should be it unless you know something else appears or maybe I'll just find like a good discount code for something I haven't bought yet so who knows but like officially this is the last but one advent calendar so I do not anticipate uh, getting any more of these bottles this year but the stash I have will probably last me for like two or three years now so I suppose every member of my family will get one of those in their Christmas stocking okay next up we have some Dr. Barbara's term and this is clarifying mask so we have uh, 20 mils and uh, here's the thing I mean on one hand I'm glad that this is not their face cream because their face cream in this size seems to be a thing this year as well not as popular as Agustina's bather obviously like nothing is as popular as Agustina's beta but I still managed to get a little bit like fed up uh, with uh, the face cream here we have clarifying mask which is something a little bit different not necessarily something I will be using because I have um, quite dry and sensitive skin so this product probably is not going to be great for me but I still think this is not a bad product and not a bad size to find in an advent calendar like that all right we have another product from Dr. Barbara Sturm and this is super anti-aging eye cream and this is 3.5 mils so this is going straight to my travel stash um, whenever I'm going on like a let's say week-long holiday this is like a perfect size to take with me and I can just get rid of the a box once I visit up. You know what, I think we have uh, the potentially least exciting product out of the way, so let's uh, have a look at something more exciting now. So I'm going to start this new chapter with Pat McGrath and this is her lipstick and let me tell you I love Pat McGrath, especially her eyeshadows, but her lipsticks are really good too. I mean look how pretty the box is. So this is Pat McGrath Lab Satin Allure Lipstick in shade In The Flesh. Oh, this is cute. Look at that. So let's have a look at the shade. Oh, this is stunning. I love it. This is just so beautiful. Look at that. And I really love the formula of it. It's definitely not going to be drying on your lips. So yes, favorite product so far. I mean, there was not much competition really because we had some Dr. Barbara Sturm and Agustina's Bader, but still I'm actually really happy with this lipstick okay let's move on I can see some Charlotte Tilbury here so we have another Charlotte Tilbury quad so we've actually seen Charlotte Tilbury quads quite often in having calendars this year but the good thing is we have like all different shades so even if you're like mass buying advent calendars uh, you'll probably not get many repeats I actually have this uh, palette already this is the Bella Sophia and I'm just going to swatch mine for you uh, so uh, these are the shades and uh, these are uh, the swatches I mean it's a very pretty palette very wearable uh, definitely one of the good ones okay let's have a look at this one here now and this is oh look at the size of it so this is 150 mils old cleansing balm by the inky list helps remove makeup and cleanse sensitive skin oh I have sensitive skin so that should be perfect so it says here use am and pm gently massage a small amount onto damped face and neck rinse thoroughly with water I really love testing new cleansers and I haven't tried that one yet so another exciting product for me so now we have something by Morphe and this is make it big bold black uh, I guess this is a mascara this is a mini mascara 
So this is a mini mascara, it's 5.5 mils. Prepare for big impact. Innovative wand designed and coated for pump-free use. Do not pump, product will build up. All right, so this is probably not the most expensive product, like Morphe as a brand is not super pricey and we have a mini mascara, but I personally do not really mind getting mini mascaras. You technically only have three months to use up your mascara, so it's easy to go through something smaller than like a full-size mascara, especially if you have more than one open and you're just using, you just alternate between them. I don't think I've tried this mascara yet, so that's also going to be a new product for me to try. Okay, next up we have something by Laura Mercier, and this is Trousers and Pure Setting Spray, 16 hours, invisible hydrating setting spray without alcohol, 100 mils. So this is what the bottle looks like and it looks very familiar. I'm pretty sure it was included in one of the advent calendars I unboxed this year, but I have no idea which one that was. So we've got the setting spray, 87% say it feels weightless, gentle and comfortable on skin. 84% uh, say it reduces the appearance of uh, shine throughout the day. And 84% say the micro fine mist does not feel uh, tight or sticky on skin. That's that sounds pretty good, even though the product looks familiar, I'm pretty sure I haven't tried it yet, so hopefully I like it because I have two bottles now. So next up we have something by Espa, and this is a Positivity Bath and Shower Gel, and we have 250 ml, so a full-size bottle. Aromatherapy Body Wash to Uplift and Inspire. This gentle, naturally foaming gel is infused with our Positivity Signature Blend, which harnesses the potency of aromatherapy oils to lift the spirits using a combination of jasmine, gardenia, and rose geranium for a burst of joy, while the confidence and vibrancy of bergamot and sweet orange are a fragrant reminder to focus on the positive. That sounds brilliant, doesn't it? Let's have a quick sniff. Yeah, it definitely smells very uplifting. Next up, we have some sleep scrunchies, a very controversial item because I know many of you don't really like to see them in living calendars. I use these all the time. Uh, to be honest, these are the only hair bands I use because they don't really pull or tangle my hair. They're quite gentle and I like the look of them as well. Uh, the only problem I have with these scrunchies, I mean, there are two problems. First of all, they are pretty expensive and uh, secondly, they do stretch out at some point. So you can't really use them forever. That's why I'm actually really happy whenever I see them in having calendars because I can actually rebuild my collection without having to spend money on it. So we have two scrunchies here. One is black and one is pink. Okay, next one is a cold classic, but also something that appears quite often in Alvin calendars. I feel like pretty much every Alvin calendar will contain uh, some form of pre-shampooing treatment. So you'll either get Elasticizer or Olaplex number no. three. I use both of these products constantly. Uh, the Olaplex number no. three is great, but I personally slightly prefer the Elasticizer. Still, it doesn't matter. That's definitely something I will use up. All right, next up we have some makeup and this is Kylie by Kylie Jenner and this is matte liquid lipstick in shade Candy K Matte. So this is what it looks like and let's have a quick swatch. It's a really nice pinky shade. This is the one over here. Uh, I do think like both uh, lip products that we have in the Southern Calendar are actually very wearable, which is good. So let's go with this one now. This is by Dermalogica and this is Neck Fit Contour Serum. Skincare workout twice daily and this is 50 mils. Okay, that looks interesting. Let's have a closer look. So this is our next serum. Yeah, this is actually pretty cool because we have this kind of like a roller applicator and to open it, you just have to twist the top. So I'm just going to close it for now. This definitely looks quite interesting and this is 50 mils Dermalogica. It can't be cheap either. So yeah, I like that. I quite like this advent calendar so far, I have to admit. So now, oh, we have a candle. You know I love candles. So this is uh, their own brand, Flannels Candle and ah, mine is broken which is fine. I mean, it is slightly chipped. You can definitely see that, but this is not something that's going to affect how the candle burns. So that's fine. Also, I mostly burn my candles, not necessarily like present them so that they look nice. Uh, so I'm not really too bothered by that. So the fragrance comes in a modern muse scent. It does smell really beautiful. And you know what? It does remind me of a perfume. I'm not sure which one though. I can't really put my finger on it, but it definitely reminds me of something. It is a very beautiful fragrance though, and it's going to be a perfect all rounder. Okay, so next up we have something by Estelle Lauder, and this is not the brand that you see often in Advent Calendars these days. So what is this? This is Futurist Aqua Brill Brilliance Watery Glow Primer, and we have 40 mils. 
So there you go, this is our primer. I do use primers whenever I want my makeup to last a little bit longer. Um, even though I have dry skin and technically you don't have to, but I do use like a lot of skincare and stuff. So primers usually help with uh, the long lasting thick situation. So we're moving on to our, ooh, this is Medicaid Press and Glow Daily Exfoliating PHA Tonic with Enzyme Activator. And we have 200 mils. I love anything by uh, Medicaid and PHA actually should be quite all right for sensitive skin, am I right? A polyhydroxy acid toner for high performance daily exfoliation but without the irritation commonly associated with acid toners. That's good. PHA helps to exfoliate off that skin cells to boost natural glow and refine skin texture. The non-sticky, non-drying formula is suitable for daily use and ideal for those who use vitamin A. Infused with prickly pear extract to support the skin's natural exfoliation process and aloe vera to soothe the complexion. For visibly brighter, smoother, less dull skin, simply press and glow. Wow, that actually sounds amazing. Plus, it's Medicaid and as I mentioned before, I love this brand. Time for the last item in this box and look at this. So if you're wondering what this is, this is a full-size fragrance. So this is Montclair Eau de Parfum for hair. So this is what the bottle looks like. This is actually unheard of to have a full-size uh, fragrance bottle in an advent calendar like that. I mean, yes, it can happen in a fragrance advent calendar, but I've never seen one in a beauty advent calendar. So I'm actually very excited. Let's check the notes first. So this fragrance is described as powdery vanilla. The top notes are powdery notes, snow, and pergamot. The middle notes are heliotrope and jasmine sandbag and then base notes vanilla, sandalwood, cedar and amber. That actually sounds really lovely. Let's have a quick sniff. Oh, this is such a cozy fragrance. It's powdery for sure. It's this powdery vanilla with some woodsy notes. This is a perfect fragrance for colder months. I mean, I love it. I'm so excited to have it here. Okay, guys, so this is everything in this year's Flannels Advent Calendar or Advent Cracker. What do you guys think? So I'm looking at these things and I'm actually really impressed. I did not expect to be that impressed with Advent Calendar. I think the variety is brilliant because we have some skincare, we have some makeup, a little bit of hair care, a fragrance, a full-size fragrance, which is amazing, a candle. So a little bit of everything. The selection of brands is amazing. Uh, we have some really premium brands here. I mean, there are a couple of cheaper ones as well, like the Inky List or the Morphe. But then on the other hand, we have some Charlotte Tilbury, Pat McGrath, Dermalogica or Estee Lauder. So I'm going to repeat myself here, but I'm actually really impressed. I mean, yes, we do have some of those products that just kind of like appear everywhere. And that's obviously going to be the Agustin's Beta Rich Cream. We have some Dr. Barbara Sturm and Olaplex. Olaplex is quite a popular product these days too. Uh, but on the other hand, there are plenty of products I haven't seen anywhere else. Okay, but what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching. For more Advent Calendar unboxings, check the ones over here. I'm going to see you very soon. Take care. Bye.